everyone welcome back to my channel as you can see i have no face makeup on and i just had my brows did i don't know i don't know if i'm liking them or not um i kind of went a little heavy-handed today on filling them in but anyways today i'm going to be reviewing a full coverage foundation for you all and that is the urban decay all nighter foundation let me say I have worked with this baby. I know how to color match this baby because when I was an account coordinator in Texas and New Mexico, working inside all of the Ulta stores for number seven cosmetics, um, you have to help everybody in store when you're a vendor um, with any brand. You can't just, you know, tell somebody, no, I can't help you. So a lot of people would ask me about this foundation. They would ask me to color match. So I feel like I have so much knowledge about this foundation, especially with color matching. I don't have any face makeup or anything on, and I have a lot of discoloration on my skin, a lot of hyperpigmentation, brown spots, you name it, scarring, and I'm trying to get it treated right now with IPL. But until then, I like to wear a good full coverage foundation. So I am gonna try this out and I'm gonna let you know how it works. You're gonna see it on my face and towards the end of the day, I'm gonna let you know what I think about this baby. Before I get started, I just wanna thank Urban Decay for sending me this product. This is not a sponsored video. They are not paying me. They did send this to me to review and I said, why not? I got some ish to cover on my face. Before I start applying this to my face, I'm gonna read to you off of Sephora's website what this foundation does. First of all, this is $40. You can get this at Sephora, you can get this at Ulta, you can get it on Urban Decay's website, whatever floats your boat. <clears throat> Okay, so it says it's a full coverage, matte finish, waterproof foundation that lasts all night. All Nighter Liquid Foundation by Urban Decay provides full coverage with a modern matte finish that never looks overdone. Get all night wear and a blown out effect you never thought was possible for a flawless looking complexion that looks amazing and stays that way. Perfect for all night affairs. This innovative formula is also comfortable enough to wear every day. <laughs> so I don't wanna go on and read anymore um i'm just gonna go ahead and start this process now the first thing that i'm gonna do is apply some moisturizer and i am gonna be applying the lancome renergy lift multi-action with spf okay before i start anything i just want to let you know i am combination to dry skin so i have dryness here here oiliness right here and here and here and then dry as a desert everywhere else. So I made sure that I exfoliated my face very well and then I'm gonna put on a really good moisturizer. The one thing I do notice is you do need to do that, especially if you have drier skin. Like I said, I've worked with this before in store and you just wanna make sure you have everything. Oh, I think I put on too much <laughs> moisturizer here. Yeah moisturizer done what i was saying is as long as you are exfoliated and very well moisturized you will have no issues like i said i have color matched so many people with this i have done full faces with this and even on really dry skin and as long as i prepped and got it all set then it was fine next i'm going in with my makeup forever smoothing primer because a girl has some pores I have a lot of pores, let me tell you. What I love about IPL treatments is that it really helps to minimize pores, let me tell you. So it helps with that, it helps with collagen production, it helps to take away your dark spots and acne scars. So it really does a lot and I love this primer it goes with a lot of foundations i'm not gonna do a review without a primer um because i always use primer so i want to do what i normally do just to see if this 
works good with my primer. Alright then, I'm going to be applying this two different ways. I'm going to be using a Zoeva 104 buffer brush on one side, which let me tell you, I prefer a brush because it gives more coverage. With this, it has a tendency to give you a lighter coverage with the Beauty Blender. So one side is going to be Beauty Blender, one side is going to be brush. I hate using the Beauty Blender for foundation. I know a lot of people like it. I don't like it. And a lot of people say they hate the brush because it's streaky. Well, if you're going like this all over your face, it's going to be streaky. I'm going to have to do uh, another video on how to use this the right way. So I got the shade 3.25 and these are how the shades go. Even numbers like 3.0, 2.0, those are all more yellow based colors. And then odds like 3.5, 4.5, 2.5, those are all more pink undertones. Now they have 3.25 or the 0.25s and those are more of a neutral undertone. I've tried 3.0, it was a little too yellow and a little too light. I have tried 3.5 and it was a little too pink and a little too dark because this does oxidize. So what I do suggest is to get color matched. I'll pray for you. Hopefully somebody can color match you correctly. But anyways, I suggest to get one or two shades lighter than what you normally would because it does oxidize. But once you find the right color, hallelujah. Yeah. Okay. So I'm going to take about a pump and a half on the back of my hand. I'm going to start with the brush. Lord. So this is going to look a little bit light on me at first, but then it should all work out. And I am just going to kind of tap it in and then blend it down my neck and just Tap it and blend. And I'm blending down my neck, putting a little on my ears so it matches. Holy moly, you guys. I got way too much. This is like, oh my God. Like I've never tried this on myself. I put it on other people, so I should have known better than to apply this much. Whatever. So this is one side of my face. Like I said, it will, I wanted to, I look like I'm going to a football game. Yeah, go Steelers! One thing I noticed is you have to work pretty fast with this foundation because um, it does set right away. So shoot, hopefully um, I can blend this line, which I'm pretty sure I can because the Beauty Blender is wet. Yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and, ah, oh, there we go. I just, you guys, I'm not a beauty blender. I like it for concealer, okay? I'm gonna be honest with you. And I've used it on clients too. I actually like using it on clients. On myself, personally, I just don't care for it because like I said, it kind of takes away coverage. It shears everything out and makes it look more natural, which is great. If you want that more natural look, cool go for it so i got the foundation on i'm going to zoom in so you can see what i mean about the coverage this side has way more coverage this side has more of natural looking coverage so i guess it's up to you i look pretty crazy but hey this is real life um it's up to you what you want to do what you're comfortable with but yeah that's pretty much both sides. So now I'm going to put on some concealer and actually I feel like I would only need a little bit on the other side um, because the coverage and then I'm using a little blender from Tarte that I absolutely love. I have a backup because unfortunately they don't make the shape anymore and it's like did I say tart? Tart. This is tart. I, I'm so tired, you guys. It's been a long week. And then I'm just going to take a little less on this side because I feel like the foundation conceals pretty good. So I'm just going to... Who else makes a concealer face? 
<laughs> leave a comment. I'm gonna go ahead and set both sides because like I said, this is what I normally do. I'm not gonna, you know, change my routine. And this is the Laura Mercier uh, Translucent Powder. I really, really, really love this powder because it blurs your pores and imperfections and it's just pretty fabulous and then under the eyes i like to set with a fan brush try it i love setting with a fan brush because i feel like it's just a very light way of setting under the eyes where it doesn't look crazy and your lines will not stand out as much if you have lines. So now I'm gonna go ahead and finish the rest of my face off camera and then I will be right back. So I am back, I have my full face of makeup on. It is 1.54 January 2nd. All right guys, so I am gonna wear this throughout the day and let's see how well, it wears. So I am doing dishes right now. I just made dinner and it is 7-11. I had to refilm this because my daughter was running around in her t-shirt and her undies. If you're a mom, you know. Anyways, it's 7-11 and this is what the makeup looks like up close. It did wear off right here. Um, other than that, I think it's doing pretty good because I got really hot. I did um, flautas or rolled tacos in the oven. It got really hot in here. I don't know if I'm gonna do the full eight hours just because my back is killing me. I'm really tired, but we shall see. So I wanted to just do an update. It's been about five hours. So it is now 9.08 p.m. And I have had this foundation on for almost eight hours and to be completely honest with you i am so exhausted i have two kids dos niños so this foundation has been through a lot today i cleaned house today i made dinner today i made sure that my kids cleaned up that they took showers and now they are in bed ready to hibernate so they are energized to go back to school tomorrow I love my kids so much and I'm gonna miss them, but I kinda need a little bit of a break, if you know what I'm saying. All you moms can agree, just a little bit of a break. So anyways, I want to kinda zoom in on this foundation so you can see it. Remember, this side was done with the brush, this side was done with the Beauty Blender. So let me zoom in. So I wanna get all up close. So I'm gonna get all up close and personal. You see where I get oily? Right here, yes. So the foundation did wear off right here and that's also where I get oily. And a little bit on the nose because I had a runny nose. Girlfriend had to wipe her nose, blow her nose. And then around here, because I ate some flautas today and so I used a napkin, wiped it off. Look it, but I don't think it looks bad. For everything that I did today, and there's this side, which side do you think looks better? So this is without any touching up of powder or anything like that. So what I'm gonna do is actually touch up with a little bit of my Laura Mercier powder because I have not touched up at all. I have been cooking and the oven was on, it was super hot. So I'm just gonna touch up to see what it looks like if I powder it. I'm just gonna powder my whole face. And like I said, I'm just touching up with the Laura Mercier translucent powder. Oh Lord, oh Lord, oh Lord. So now I can see where it was broken up around my nose, but let me tell you, this is actually pretty good because most foundations that I wear um, will be completely off of my nose by like three or four hours. So this is done pretty good. So I don't think it looks too bad. 
and I actually want to try my other primer that I have which is the Becca I don't have it in front of me the Becca oil control primer you guys know what I'm talking about I love wearing that I love how this foundation looks the only problem areas that I saw was on my nose on my chin but I have that problem with so many other foundations and the way I kind of work it is I have to wear a different primer so the one thing I want to say about this foundation is if you do have drier skin, it will kind of cling to dry patches. So you do need to exfoliate really well. Um, you do need to moisturize really well. And then if you're super oily like me, yeah, I think what happened was I touched my nose with the brush and it kind of screwed everything up. I probably should have went in with like a powder puff, which I don't know why I didn't do that. But anyways, so far, I think this foundation is pretty good. I do. I give it a four out of five stars because the coverage, I mean, I think the rest of my face looks good. Like I said, my problem spots are my nose and my chin. Um, other than that, I think it looks good. Zoomed in a little more. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this review. Uh, if you do have the same issues as me, I know it would be different if I had my Becca. Sometimes I use two primers. I'll use the smoothing one by Makeup Forever and then I'll use the Becca one where I have a lot of oil and then I have no issues whatsoever. But um, I think it did pretty well because normally this would be all completely like off. And I'm just kind of like rubbing it off right now with my finger. But thank you guys so much for watching. I am taking my Neutrogena wipes and I am wiping my face. Thank you so much to Urban Decay for sending me this foundation. I am going to keep on using this because it's not a bad foundation whatsoever. I think it's a really good foundation. Um, yeah, especially if you have really super oily skin. I was in high temperatures. My oven was on and I was cleaning and sweating today. So I think this held up really good with cleaning house, with cooking, with running around with my kids not running around with them because i have a broken back but you know what i mean through all of that so thank you all so much for watching if you are new to my channel hit the subscribe button hit the notification bell do your thing so you can see more reviews four out of five stars really like this gonna try it with a different primer to see if i have a different outcome but it's really good thank you and i will see you on the next video peace